Hello guys, so we got another coin game today. So two players are playing a coin game. Player A wins if the sequence HH shows up first and player B wins. Player B wins if the sequence TH shows up first. So H stands for heads and T stands for tails here. What is the probability that player A wins. So this problem can be solved using a Markov chain. So let's try to model all the all the states and events in this game. Let's start with a starting state before any coin are tossed. So we can get the head or a or a tail. with one half probability. Next, we can get another head, in which case we are going to get the sequence H and H. And player A is going to win. What if we get a tail? Well, we might be tempting to draw this. But this state, it's actually same as just getting a T. So instead of drawing this, we are going to let this transition from H to T directly. So because once you get a head, you can get a, and then you get a tail. It's really the same as just getting a tail from the start in this state t you can get a head in which case you get th and this case b wins wins and what if you get a tail well you might be tempted to go like tail tail but there's not much use of tracking this state really because you're really back into the same state. So instead, you can draw a self loop like this. So now with this states diagram, let's analyze the probability of winning for player A. So let's let A be the events that player A wins. So here, we're really trying to find out as state s what is the probability that player a wins now it depends on the following states so let's keep modeling this well what is the probability that a wins given this state at one head and this is depending on the probability that A wins given the state HH. Well, if you're already at HH, you already win. So probability is one. And let's also model this one. Probability that A wins at state T. Well, we don't know what it is yet, but we can draw this next one, which is that probability that A wins given TH that's zero because at this state player B wins and player A would have lost. So now our eventual goal is really to find the probability that A wins at the start of the game. And we can actually solve it by iteratively solving these two value. So let's look at the bottom one. So P A given T is equal to there's a half of a probability that is going to get into the TH states plus the other half of the probability that is going to loop back to itself. And we actually know that 
pa given th this is zero solving for p of a given t you see that it's equal to zero so you move it over one half equal to zero so p of at this is just zero so you're going to label it here so now we have p of a given h h and we have p of a given t we are ready to solve for p of a given h so basically that's one half p of a given h h plus one half this path one half of p of a t plugging in everything this is really just equal to one half so this is one half so now finally we can solve for p of a given s there's one half of a chance of state going into state h so p of a s is equal to one half p of let me move it up a little bit to see it p of a h plus one half p of a given t so that's one half times one half plus one half times zero equal to one four so this is the solution so from the starting state player a only has a probability of one fourth to win so let's look at the diagram to see why again so starting from the initial state there's a 50 percent chance you're going to get a head and a 50 percent chance you're going to get a tail and we saw earlier that once you get a tail there's no arrow climbing back you're basically stuck in these lower states and you either keep staying in state t or you're going to get into th in which case b is going to win so then the only way for player a to win is really getting that h on the first toss and then getting an h on the second toss any other ways player a is going to lose that's why player a only wins at probability one fourth so this is a application of Markov chain. Let me know if you have any questions.